like how fancy this cappuccino is. I highly suggest it. <laughs> Enjoy, baby. the last official day of the trip we're heading home tomorrow our flight is in the early afternoon so this is like our last full day and as promised because i forgot to vlog in lisbon and porto i'm doing two vlogs here in paris so today's another like chill day honestly i think i mentioned this in the other vlog but alex and i have both been to paris so this time around we wanted to keep it a little bit more low-key less fast-paced i'd really just like walk around to be honest and like sit in coffee shops or restaurants and just people watch um so that's what we've been doing but definitely today and the day i vlogged two days our first day in paris were like our more chill days so i did that purposely because when we're super busy i always forget to pick up the vlogging camera with that being said we're heading out now we are just going to go to the um i don't know if it's a restaurant coffee shop at the louvre called cafe carousel um we're gonna grab coffee some a little something to eat a little bite actually maybe we'll get full-blown breakfast i'm not sure yet so we'll see what they have on the menu and then from there we're gonna walk over to the musée of Rodin. So I've been once, I'm not, I think Alex has been too, he said, but I went like actually 10 years ago, I think on my Europe trip with my school at the time, my high school. And we did go to the Musée of Rodin. I just don't remember any of it. I am super excited to rediscover this museum because I actually don't remember going. I think I remember briefly being outside but that's like it, that's literally all I remember, so I'm excited. Before heading out though, I do wanna share one product with you guys that I've been using this trip that has been such a game changer for my skin. Uh, as you can see, it's not holding up so well here in Paris. It was doing fine in Portugal, but uh, obviously, very dirty city Paris, so I feel like my skin's like struggling a little bit more. But I do wanna show you guys what's giving me this glow, cause I have super minimal makeup on, like this is not a highlight. I literally have a bronzer on, lipstick, and a little bit of concealer on my acne, and then I brush my brows up, and that's literally all I have. So I wanna show you guys the product that's been giving me this like shine on my face, even when I have no makeup on. So excuse the lighting in here, but this is the product. It is the Laneige Hydro UV Defense Sunscreen. It's their new sunscreen product. It leaves no white cast, like it says, like they advertised. And like all Laneige products, it's so hydrating, which for SPF, I find like face SPFs, oftentimes they like dry my skin out it's like not the vibe especially because it's like the last step in your skincare routine so usually when um after i apply my moisturizer like my skin's like super dewy and glowy but then i'll apply like sunscreen and it just goes matte and it's not the vibe so i highly suggest checking this one out a little product goes a long way also it's amazing like all laneige products they just go above and beyond i i i've yet to try a laneige product i don't like so I highly suggest checking this out, not even just for your travels, but like for summer and like every day. You should put SPF on every day. And when it's as easy to apply as this one, it's like super easy to just do it every single day. This is not at all sponsored, by the way. This was gifted to me to try out, uh, but my thoughts are genuine. I love, you guys know at this point, like I love Laneige. They're one of my favorite skincare brands. Okay. We're heading out now, so I will see you guys once we get to the restaurant. Look how fancy this cappuccino is. And Alex got a smoothie. This is a really nice garden, and uh, we're gonna go look at statues that were sculpted, sculpted by old.
So, I can put that in. We just finished the museum, walking around the museum, and now we're in the gardens where there are some sculptures. And to be honest, I did not remember this museum at all from the last time I came. I do remember the gardens a little bit, but I don't at all remember the museum. So I'm really happy that we came because I've been to Paris quite a few times since that last trip and I never made the trip to Musée Hodin. So definitely if you guys are coming to Paris, I highly suggest it. <laughs> I find his sculpture is just so beautiful. He's so good at like capturing the movement in his sculptures. So highly suggest it, especially if you guys are a fan of sculptures. So we are just walking around for now and then we're gonna head to some spots of like the Eiffel Tower that I found online that are like cute IG spots um, for photos. And we are going to L'Entrecote tonight for dinner. It was on Alex's wish list for Paris. So we're gonna have steak frites for dinner, but there's a lineup apparently and they don't take reservations. So we're gonna have to line up around like 6.15ish and they open around 6.45. So we'll see how that goes. Like I said, low key day. Just gonna chill in the gardens for now. We'll see you guys in a bit. I'll never catch him while I'm this small. Curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Yes, of course. It's much later now. It's 11.15. Just showered and washed my face. And as you guys can see, my skin is not agreeing with Paris. It's crazy how like these bigger cities, like they're so dirty. And I don't really realize until my skin starts to react the way it does. Because literally my skin was thriving in Portugal. And now it is just not having a good time. And you can feel it on your skin too. Like it's been so hot here. Like you feel feel the dirt like sticking to your skin it's it's not not a fun feeling on your skin we went to l'entrecote for dinner and it was so good i'm personally not a meat lover like i'm i'm yeah i i'm not a steak girl like to be honest i don't get it like i i really don't get the hype around steak i would never order a steak on a menu if i were back home like it's just not something that i enjoy but obviously this like place specializes in steaks like it's steak fit so that's like what you get and alex really wanted to go so i was like okay i'll tough it out like whatever i'll suck it up for one dinner but their sauce that they use is so so good it actually was like decent like again i don't love steak but if i was eating steak like i feel like that was a best case scenario type of thing the sauce was so good and the fries were amazing as well um and like i i would go again if i came back to paris so that's all you need to know. If you guys are in Paris, get the steak fit at L'Entrecote. It's really good. You guys do have to line up. We started, we lined up at 6, it was like 6.05ish and this restaurant opens at 6.45. I would say it got really busy around 6.30, like just before 6.30, like there was a huge line forming. So we definitely went a little bit too early, but we are happy that we did because we were second in line so we definitely got a spot it's definitely worth it um and it's like a whole vibe the restaurant so i definitely suggest checking it out if you guys are in paris so that's it you guys i hope that you enjoyed watching these vlogs i hope that you enjoyed exploring with me i have a lot of mini vlogs that are still going live on my tiktok platform as well as my instagram platform so i will have the ads right here for you guys to check out if you don't follow me on there as well as linked in the description down below that is the end of the travel vlogs for now you guys i am going to be going on little vacations here and there this summer 
nowhere too far like this was the main trip of the summer but definitely gonna be vlogging some day in the lives this summer because montreal is filled with fun things to do love you guys so much thank you so much for coming along on this very fun trip with alex and i if you guys enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me also please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already as i mentioned there are lots more vlogs to come this summer in montreal i will see you very soon with another new video mm -hmm. au revoir